Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of um, it's a slippery slope. But you know, then again, Cardi's just trying to cover her own situation. Uh, she says, "I made the choices I did because I had limited options. I was blessed to have been able to rise from that, but so many women have not. Uh, whether or not they were poor choices at the time, I did what I had to do to survive. The men I spoke about in my life were men that I dated, that I was involved with, men that were conscious, willing, and aware. So, what does that mean?" What does that mean? Like they were willing and aware, like willing and aware that they were being robbed. They were, they were okay with that. They put themselves in that situation. So they deserve to be victims of crime. Well, you got to be careful with that kind of language, right? Because, you know, people say that sometimes about rape victims, right? She was willing and aware. She chose to be in that room. She chose to lay down with that man. She chose to be in his apartment at two o'clock in the morning or whatever, right? And she don't have to explain any of that. So, so why would this man have to explain why? he agreed to go and have sex with you um i have a past and i and we can't and, and i can't change that we all do okay so she says we all have a past um i think that the you know i think the bottom line with the cardi b thing is that you know you have men consistently being taken down and destroyed um for something usually has to do with sex right now, women have a different sexual nature. Women are not people that have to go, they're not going out sort of, you know, approaching men trying to get sex, right? They're not saying, hey, let me pay your bills so I can get some dick. Like women don't have to do that. Women can get sex easily. Now, what a lot of women will do is they use the power of sex to get something else that they want, right? Not all women, a lot of women do that so. So they'll make the, the opposite proposition to a man. Like, so, so a powerful, right now we have the Me Too movement where a powerful man will be taken down because he says to a woman, hey, um, if you sleep with me, I'll, I'll help get some bills paid, right? And, and that's, we've decided that that's a bad thing, that that's almost illegal and he should even be destroyed because he's a predator. You know, but what they don't talk about are women that say, hey, if you pay my bills, I'll have sex with you. If you give me access to money, I'll have sex with you. So that sex for money trade is has been defined to be immoral and and damn near illegal if it's going in one direction. But the the sex for money trade is fine if it's going in the other direction, right? So if a woman is using sex, the power of sex, to either um, coerce a man, extort a man into paying her, right? It's okay if she's using sex to convince a man to pay her. It's okay if she's using the power of sex to rob a man while he's drugged up and um, unconscious, then apparently that's okay, right? Um, so, so my point here, I hope you guys see what I'm saying, is that it's a, an issue that Cardi B uh, is able to make a statement about um, the victimization of men, but it's not put on the same par as the victimization of women. Uh, in fact, in our society right now, there is no, there is pretty much no crime consistently committed, consistently committed by large numbers of women, or a substantial percentage of women, that would be demonized at the same level as a man who um, trades money for sex, or um, you know has sex with a girl that's seventeen or eight, sixteen instead of eighteen, right? Or God forbid you know, harasses or sexually assaults a woman, right? There's a thousand ways sex can bring down a man, but there's almost no way we've established where sex can bring down a woman. Um, and so what I would be dead beg to offer is this idea. You know, if we're going to decide that it's just terrible for a man to use his money to uh, coerce sex out of a woman, either by force or talking her into it or threatening her or or just taking it, then it should be also seen to be equally problematic for a woman to use her sex to coerce money out of a man by either stealing from him, coercing him, trading with him or whatever, right? Again, so so do you follow what I'm saying? I hope that this makes sense. You know, you're, 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 it's all about money being traded for sex. But so we've decided that it's bad to, to offer your money and ask for sex, but it's okay to offer your sex and ask for money or maybe even force somebody to give you money or steal somebody's money. Right. Either way, it's all kind of the same thing. It's the same damn equation, the exact same equation. 
right? Bill Cosby used his money and his power to lure women in so he could steal sex, right? If, if that's what you believe that he did, right? But then there's other lower levels of Bill Cosby. You know, there are men who use the pow their power and their money to not so much steal the sex, but to kind of pressure the woman into getting the sex. Like, okay, if you, if you give me this, if you don't give me the sex, I'm going to fire you. Or you or other men who use the power of their money to co to to strongly urge a woman to make a trade, right? To say, hey, look, I got to offer you probably could refuse, but if you refuse it, then there's gonna you, you're not gonna get the money, right? Here's the money. Um, give me some sex, and I'll give you the money, or I'll give you the opportunities, or I'll give, put you in my movie, or whatever, right? And 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 it doesn't mean I'm gonna beat you up or rape you or or destroy you if uh, you don't give me sex, but I'm not going to give you the reward. I'm going to save the reward for somebody who gives me what I want, right? Um, I've seen many occasions where uh, women will do the opposite of that. Women will say, here, here's the sex. I want you, because I'm giving you the sex, to give me what I want. Give me some money. Give me a movie deal. Give me an opportunity, right? And if you don't give it to me, that's okay. I'm not going to get mad at you, but I'm going to go give the sex to someone else who gives me what I want.